Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, nice. Um, good evening, good evening, welcome, nice. Okay, so today I hope to have full house, right? Good so evening. good evening, welcome, nice. Uh, turn on your cameras, please. Nice, um, nice, today is the day, right? So the last one, okay, that is nice because as I told you before, um we are in the good way right so we are in the good road and we are learning we are getting advanced with the language and that is amazing that is good okay i appreciate that you have your cameras uh today it is it is right the last one the last class the last day but you will continue right so the that's the idea right so it is the last class and this course right but you will continue with the next ones okay so um no problem by don giovanni so i have something right here in the chat so we are about to start the attend the pass the attendance and see um details about what we have uh let's see i don't know how you feel So I don't know if you feel exciting or if you feel sad <laughs> because it's the last one. Hoy puede llorar, hoy se vale. Okay, so let's see, we are 18, todavía faltan algunos que ingresen. Vamos a dar unos minutillos más para pasar el attendance porque we are 19 only now. So just let me open right here the file porque se me reinició esta cuestión y se ha cerrado todo esto. Okay, yeah, now you will have better numbers for the attendance. Ya la mayoría está verdecito. Nice. Yeah, so let's see right here. Okay, so let's see, let's start now. We are 21 at least, okay? So um, <clears throat> let's see, um, Alexandra Jamilet, tell us uh, what's today date? Today is um very july okay what else um, 2023 and the date uh today is sorry me confundo con los días mm -hmm. so what day is today No, let's see, um, Ana Maricel, tell us what is a today date? Uh, 
Hello, good evening. Um, today is Thursday, July 13th, uh, 2023. Okay, okay. So, yeah, today is Thursday, right? Thursday. It's not Tuesday, right? Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday. So, <coughs> it's a big difference, right? A big different okay so nice july uh, the 13th right 13th uh 2023 so that's the day for today so um we are going to share details about the the last part that we have about the present perfect but i'm going to uh, pass the attendance first right <coughs> sorry boy yeah um let's see i'm going to pass the attendance and then we are going to continue with the last uh topic that we have for today and that will be present perfect did you remember that we start um the present perfect topic yesterday but we are going to complete the last exercise for today and that's it basically we are uh done right we are done with this course and um, as I told you, the good thing is that you will be in the next, right? You will be in the next level. You are, you know, getting advanced with the language and that you will continue, right? Because it's not like the, the end, right? This is just like at the beginning, right? So nice. Just let me go back right here to the file for the attendance. And uh let's see let me know please if you are here so ada veronica it's there um alexandra jamilet thank you ada i'm here nice alexandra alexis giovanni present teacher nice alexis um then we have alicia perez Present teacher. Nice. Ana Maricel. Present Miss. Nice. Brenda Claribel. It's me, teacher. Nice. Byron Giovanni. Me escribió en el chat. Eh, Present teacher. Nice. Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Nice. Carlos Cecilio Antonio. Cecilio no ha entrado. Eh, Jacqueline Vanexa. Jacqueline Vanessa, ¿no? Eh, Jennifer Arevalo. Present, Miss. Nice. Eh, let's see. Juan Antonio. Present, teacher. Nice. Eh, Catherine Andreina. Catherine Andreina, ¿no? Eh, Catherine Giselle. Present teacher. Nice. Kevin Alexander. Present. Nice. Eh, Lenin Hernández. Present, Miss. Nice, Leticia Judith. Present. Nice. Luis Alfredo. Present, Miss. Present. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah, Luis. Uh, Maria Magdalena. Present, Miss. Nice, Martín de Jesús. Miguel Antonio. Present, Miss. Nice. Nelson Eduardo. Present, Miss. Nice. Noé Ezequiel. Noé, no. Eh, Norma Lisette. Norma, no. Eh, Olivia Reisha. Present. Nice, Oscar Alexander. 
Zaira y Dalia. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Zaira y Dalia. No. Y Silvia Esther. No. Okay, so we are going to um, validate the attendance one more time at the end, right? You know that. Um, sometimes people join the class during the the hour, right, that we have. So at the end, I'm going to <laughs> validate the, the attendance one more time. So let me uh, share the screen really quick. And we are going to continue where we stop, okay? So let's see, I guess now you can see the screen. And uh, this is what we have right now. So we have the present perfect. Did you remember present perfect? Okay, so let's see. Uh, I have something right here in the chat. Okay, no, no problem. Okay. So, oh my goodness. Let's see, present perfect. Let's see, who remembers something about the present perfect? Or let me ask you the question. <coughs> Did you remember um, information that we mentioned yesterday about the uh, present perfect? <laughs> yes, I, I remember. Um, is structure instructor estructura? Mm -hmm, the structure, in, yeah. In present perfect, in affirmative oh, wow. is subject plus auxiliary uh, plus past particip participle. And the questions is auxiliary plus subject plus past participle. Okay, okay, very nice. So that's that's the, the, the structure, right? The structure that we need to follow to uh, complete the present perfect, okay? So um, what else did you remember? Did you remember something else about present perfect? Not really. Is with me, teacher? Mm -hmm. uh, if somebody else can, you know, participate and answer would be nice. So I'm asking in general, what did you remember about the present perfect? Okay. <clears throat> or let me ask you the question in a different way, like um, <clears throat> when, right? When we are going to use the present perfect? Did you remember when we are going to use that? Not really. No. Volunteers, if we don't have volunteers, uh, we will see victims. Una situación que todavía no, no ha pasado, pero va a pasar. Mm hmm you're right, but when this situation start? Because yes, still, right, so can be affected. But when it starts, it's now or it was like in the past, it is in the past. No recuerdan eso. I'm going to share with you some pictures, okay, in the WhatsApp group. But let's keep in mind, the present perfect, yeah, it is, right? It is the, the, the structure as um, Brenda Claribel mentioned it, right? So, but uh, the idea of, of this one, it's like if, like if we have like a tag, uh, a timeline, right? So, what that we are going to see the present perfect like in a long period, in right? Past, I'm sorry? In past participle. 
es cuando hemos hecho esa, esa por ejemplo, el sujeto hizo eh, eh, algo. Por ejemplo, ayer o nosotras jugamos fútbol, por ejemplo, se podría decir. Por eso pienso yo que está en pasado presente, porque está hablando de un pasado, pero está hablándolo en el presente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can be. So let me see what is the group. I'm going to. This is not. So I'm going to share with you the the pictures that I told you about the the present perfect. Okay. Just let's see what happened here. So and um, there are also some examples there, like like an exercise. I have the structure as well. And look, um, it says that we are going to use the present perfect for actions that start in the past until now. So that means that the action, the activity, or whatever we are talking start in the past, can be yesterday, can be last year, last month, but it's still it is impacting the present, right? What we have right now, okay? Um, for example, we can say, oh, uh, she has been working as a teacher for 10 years, okay? So that person started wor working as a teacher 10 years ago, but still he or she, depending, right, it's doing the action. So the, the activity or the situation continue until the, the present, right? Also, it says that it's for events in the past uh, at a specific time, okay? She has been to Paris. We don't know how many dates, how many months, or how many years this person was out of, the, out of the country and was like traveling or living out of the country. But that is something that also we can say using the uh, present perfect, okay? She has been uh to paris for i don't know for a long time ago also it says uh, repeated events in the past until now so what we mentioned yesterday right the actions that are like being repeated 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 and still so we are doing the action the example can be <coughs> sorry can be we have had uh, four exams so far this semester okay so we had had three exams um, for this course, okay, or for this uh, semester. So that means that you are being doing the same activity uh, since the past, but still you are um, uh, working as or doing be a student. So you will continue, you know, doing exams or quizzes, right? So change over time uh, for example my niece has grown a lot in the past year okay so imagine a person right a baby so one month two months or one year so the person it's different right so and that is something that will affect um, since the past until now and it says uncomplete actions that are uh, that it's in a Expected to happen. She hasn't finished her homework yet. They still haven't write. So that, that expression is also for present perfect, okay? When we say, oh, uh, no sé si aún vendrán, right? So imagine that you receive like a relative visitors or family visitors, and they say, I will go to your house tomorrow, right? So now that it's the next day and you are like expecting, waiting for that pe that person or that people, right? So the action start for you uh, yesterday when you get notice, right? The 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 the, the that you will be this you will have visitors, right? So then it's the day, it's the time, and you are like waiting, waiting for that person or that family or that uh, relatives, right? So and you say, oh my goodness. Uh, my family 
still having a right, okay? So you are waiting, you are like expecting the, the action seems yesterday, but it's the present, but it's still, right? We have the um, inconvenience that we are waiting, right? So that is the, 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 the situation. Now, uh, no problem, Juan Antonio. I am checking the chat right there. So, <coughs> sorry. Now, we have the structure right there. Creo que ya lo vio ahí en el grupo, se lo envié también para que usted tenga <clears throat> la estructura, right? La famosa fórmula, okay? So we say that the same story as with the other tenses, right? We have positive sentences, we can have negative sentences, and also we can elaborate or create questions, okay? So as Brenda Clariver mentioned, right? The formula or the structure, okay? We need to have the auxiliaries, in this case, have or has, depending on the subject, right? Have or has. And also, I remember I told you yesterday, you need to, um, you need to um, know the past participle of the verb, okay? That is something very important, very important the past participle of the verb. If we don't know the past participle of the verb, so we will have inconvenience right here. We will be in troubles right here. So we will be like, oh my goodness, what happened? Que como le, le pongo, le quito al verbo, right? So we need to know the verbs. Uh, for negative sentences, we have the subject, the same have or has not, okay, la negación ahí, not, uh, plus the past participle, okay? Plus the past participle. I have not tried sushi, okay? So, and the last ones are the questions, okay? So for the questions we have, have or has, depending on the subject, plus the subject, plus the, pl the past participle, okay? Have you tried sushi? Okay, can, but that can be the example, okay? So, I, I already sent it to the group. We have an example or like a positive sentence right there. That is like a like a activity that you can do later on, right? Remember that uh, if you uh, you don't have classes next week, so it's not vacation, right? So you can double check, you can review, you can um, double like take a look on the platform and see the previous. Uh, topics because it is really, really important for you to be clear with the topics that we cover, okay? So <clears throat> we are going to continue, okay? So in the last class yesterday, right? So we read uh, these examples, right? So I told you, please pay close attention to the bold letters, okay? The bold letters, las negritas, right? Because right there, we have like the, the idea, okay? So for a better understanding. And also like in all the tenses, we have the contractions, okay? So they are exactly the same. Look at these words. So they are exactly the same. Uh, the meaning, right? I'm sorry, the, the, the pronunciation, it's different, right? So it's a big different, but uh, at the end, so you both are correct, right? So as I told you, um, I won't be like, ah, como lo ha puesto eh, contractado está malo. No, right? Both are correct, okay? With contractions or without contractions, they are good. The thing is that um, we can sound a little bit fluently, right? Or we can be like more fluent when we are using contractions, okay? Look at the, the examples, I'd, I have, your, you have. So these ones are the ones that we can use for the uh, present perfect, okay? So let's continue. We have an exercise right here. Let me see, it says right here. Oh my God. Complete these uh, conversations using the present perfect, okay? Then practice with a partner. Also, look, we have right here, the birds, regular and irregular. Ya usted ya sabe que hay regulares e irregulares, right? So 
Um, now, the, the past participle is the one that you are going to use with its, these terms, right? Estos son los que usted va a usar. Right now, we are going to try to complete the exercise B. This will be like the last uh, exercise that we have, right? Complete these conversations using the present perfect and practice with a partner. So let me take a screenshot right here in case if you don't have the uh, the men are with you, so ya sabe que yo le mando siempre ahí el, al grupo de, de WhatsApp para que podamos trabajar. So, um, ¿dónde estamos? Aquí. So, remember that um, present perfect, ok? Usted valore, lea bien la pregunta o la oración y debemos de identificar, ¿verdad? No sé si se mira bien ahí. Debemos de try to identify if this one is a positive sentence or if it is a negative sentence, okay? So we need to try to um, see, okay? If it is a question, right, to follow the structure. Ya le mandé la estructura, right? Usted ahí lo tiene. So we are going to try to do it right now in, in small groups, okay? So just let me open the rooms right here. Uh, let's see, estamos, okay, small groups, breakup rooms, so we are going to create just four, okay, four groups, some of you will be seven and just one or two will be eight, okay, so are we clear with the instruction, are we clear with the activity that we are going to do right now? Ya, está clara la indicación de lo que vamos a hacer. Ya. Yes, yes. Ok, perfect. So, ahí trate de unirse rápidamente. We have four minutes, ok, to complete the activity and then we are going to uh, review together, ok. Just let me open the rooms.
Hello. 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 Hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Ada? Bien, aquí usted que viera que cuando hacen palas es que me sacan de la computadora, me sacan de la de la computadora, así que me he conectado ahorita en el cel para ver qué se puede hacer. Cuando hay este corte de energía. No, no. si sí, todo bien. Ah, Solo no Okay. Um, welcome back. <ríe> no sé si terminaron. Me metí ahí a los dos grupitos que logré y en el que ya estaba. Y no, no, no habían terminado. But anyway, right? Time is, time is running so fast. So we need to validate. We need to validate the answers. Okay. Vamos a ver. Aquí entre todos la vamos a resolver, ¿ok? So, let's see. Um, sí, ya ven la pantalla, right? So, uh, complete with present perfect, right? Usted tiene ahí la fórmula, usted tiene ahí la estructura. Incluso aquí nos han ayudado poniendo los verbos, right? Porque si acaso usted no se los ha aprendido, ahí está lo, la listita de los verbos en la forma, en la forma ya yeah, participia, right? So, um, let's see, number one, uh, letter A and B, letter A is already done. So Jennifer, uh, you are eight, and Juan Antonio B, uh, letter B, please, go ahead. Okay. Yes, I have already, quiero ver, esa es verdad, no. What letter A? Eight. Eight. Number one. Have you done much exercise this week? Uh, yes, I've been already um, done to uh, aerobics class for time.
I'm sorry, thank you. The question says, have you done much exercise this week? Yes, I, ¿cuál sería aquí el? El auxiliar, muy bien. Yes, I have already. Participio del verbo be. Bien. 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 Okay, Bien. perfect. Bien. Uh, to aerobics class four times, okay? O sea, la, el tiempo, acuérdense, es que dijimos que era como ando, endo, right? So, have you done? ¿Has estado haciendo mucho ejercicio esta semana? Sí, he estado haciendo algo de aeróbicos cuatro veces, cuatro clases, right? Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, number two. Uh, Ada Veronica, you are letter eight. And Luis Alfredo, be letter B, please. Number two. Have you played any sport this month? No, I haven't played the time. I haven't played the time. Okay, okay, let's see. Remember, eh, en paréntesis está el verbo, right? Que usted debe de utilizar en esa oración. Have you played any sport this month? It's okay. No, I haven't oh, I had. Know. Okay, so no, I haven't had the time. No, no he tenido el tiempo, right? So no, I haven't had. My goodness, it's raining where I am, okay? So, se escuchan ahí el ruido? I'm sorry, it's raining, okay? So, let's continue. Ana Maricela, number three, letter eight. Maria Magdalena, letter B. How many movies have you been to this month? Actually, I seen any jet. Okay, so that will be negative, right? So, how many movies have you uh, been to this month? Okay, actually, I haven't, negativo, right? Actually, I haven't seen any movie, any jet, I'm sorry, any jet. So, number four, Byron Giovanni, um, let it be Lenin Hernandez. Okay. Mm. Have you been to any entrance parties recently? Lenin? Lenin Hernandez? You are on mute, Lenin. Actually, I have seen any yet okay so actually no. i haven't that is number three we are in the number four lenning number four eh, la respuesta verdad you are b no i cannot okay so remember que tenemos la fórmula okay so usted tiene que guiarse en la fórmula no puedo, no puedo quitar el auxiliar del presente perfecto. No puedo poner el verbo en la forma base porque estamos viendo y hablando que es el participio, right? Mm -hmm. So, number four. Uh, have you been to any interest in Paris recently? No, I haven't. Ok, negativo. No, I haven't gone. No, no he ido a ninguna fiesta por mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? ok, number five, no, letter eight, Brenda, you are number five, eight, uh, Cecilio Antonio, be number five, B. And question is, have, have you called any friends today? Or, or call it. No sé si lo estoy pronunciando, pronunciando bien, teacher. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. So the answer, uh, Cecilia, siento que estoy gritando. I'm sorry. Yes, I call it already. 
make three cards. Okay, so have you, uh, number five, right? Have you called any friends today? Yes, I have already made three calls, okay? So the last one, number six. Um, Ada Veronica, no, ya le preguntamos a Ada. Let's see. Byron Giovanni, you are number letter six eight. Ana Maricela, letter B. Okay. How many times uh, gone you out to eat this week? Um, I have uh, I have it I think, at fast food restaurants a couple of times. Okay, so let's see how many times have you what is the participio del verbo go? You gone. 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 Okay, so how many times have you gone out to eat this week? I have, I have eaten, eaten, okay, eaten, eaten. Uh, okay, el participio del verbo eat, right, eaten, uh, fast food restaurant for a couple of times, okay, so basically we need to practice, okay, so we need to practice um, the structure, okay, so Uh, creo que ahí puso la fórmula Ezequiel. Ya, yeah. ahí le envía a, a, ahí al WhatsApp la estructura, igual acá la tenemos, right? <coughs> Sorry. So, Teacher, creo que se nos question. Me... Go ahead. Este, ahí en la, que, en la que me tocó a mí, en la número 3, creo que fue que dice: How many movies have you been to this month? ¿Cómo identificar que.? que es una respuesta negativa porque dice actual y cuando dice no, pues ahí me da la pauta que es una respuesta negativa, ¿verdad? Pero si, si la respuesta es actual, eh, ¿cómo identificar que es una respuesta negativa? Ok, Magdalena. En uh, this one we um, we understand that it's negative because any yet, ninguna aún. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay, okay. Ninguna aún. ¿Verdad? Okay, okay, como que you. yo le diga, como que aquí dijera ninguna, ni una, dice, no he visto uh -huh. ni una película, right? So, esto me da la pauta que es negativa. Ah, ok, ok, sí, hoy uh -huh. se me queda claro. Thank you, teacher. Ok, no problem. So, um, my best advice and my best recommendation is, you know, practice a little bit more. We have the conversation right here. It says, um, Actually, I have Peter Mandy. Okay, and it says, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. It is good. It's delicious. I had it several times. Or, or uh, how about Thai food? Have you ever had? Uh, green curry, actually I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate a lot of there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there uh, for two years, okay? So look at the structure, okay? Usted tiene que ponerle mucho cuidado a la estructura gramatical. Si usted ya tiene... Um, Usted ya tiene ahí la estructura, right? So, la fórmula es la que le va a dar la pauta a usted de el orden que yo voy a llevar. Ahí se lo mandé en positivo, en negativo, en pregunta. Y el problema que yo considero que pueda que tengamos es el, um, el que no nos podemos los verbos. ¿Se acuerda que yo le dije al inicio del módulo? Se les compartió una lista, ¿verdad? De verbos. Yo le dije, empiece a aprendérselos porque va a llegar el momento de ver el presente perfecto y ahí se necesita el verbo. Tal vez usted la estructura la tiene acá, pero me topo con el verbo que no sé cómo se dice en participio, ¿ok? 
So my best advice right here is, you know, practice the birds, memorize the birds, learn the birds, okay? So as soon as you get the birds, usted la estructura ya la tiene, okay? La, la diferencia aquí es, eh, si, es, si es diferente para tercera persona, right? Porque ya dijimos que yo voy a decir, has she, has he, and then the other subjects that would be have. Creo yo que eso es más fácil de que ustedes lo, lo recuerden, right? And um, the birds, okay, los verbos son los que usted debe de eh, memorizar. Lastimosamente no hay así como una, un top secret, right? Una fórmula mágica donde usted diga, ah, vaya, así, ah, ah, aquí están los verbos, okay? So, uh, we are going to practice this conversation just, um, okay, Maricel, ahí dice que es el caso, yeah, that, that's the problem, okay? La mayoría creo yo que si no hubiéramos tenido estos, verbe, estos verbos acá, o sea, no, no, no pasamos de ahí, ¿verdad? Uno se queda estancado, pero, uh, as I told you, my best advice is to study the birds, uh, and follow the structure, right? So that would be like a guide for you to uh, create sentences using present perfect, okay? So we have time just to uh, practice one time, okay? So, veamos si hay alguien que no le hemos preguntado que tenga cámara. Eh, Martín, no sé si está ahí, Martín de Jesús. Hola, teacher. Ok, so be Peter and let's see, Ada Verónica, be Mandy, please. Go ahead. Ok, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Had you ever eaten Marruecos food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. It's I I have I have it several several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a tea, tea, teenage. No sé cómo se dice eso. Teenage. Teenager. 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 I ate it a lot there. I didn't know. That how long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, okay. nice. So, um, look, we are going to stop right here. Okay, so you have time. Okay, I don't know, as I told you, I don't know if you are going to start the next course. Uh, next coming uh, Monday as an example, I don't know. So that I'm not able to see that, right? But my best advice is, you know, practice, review the platform. The, uh, se supone que usted completó ya todos los ejercicios de la plataforma, right? So, allí hay ejercicios del presente perfecto, right? Igual, usted puede buscar en internet, puede practicar. Este, ya no nos va a dar el tiempo. Había preparado aquí el, el juego del, del present perfect, but the time it's, we have just a few minutes, okay? And I would like to say something to you, okay? It's the last day, but for the class, right? El último día, no es que ya no va a continuar. Es el último día de, de este grupo, de este horario, de este módulo, ¿ok? But I really want to say to you that you need to continue, ¿ok? No se desanime, eh, no se desespere, no se frustre diciendo, ay, no, mejor ya no me sigo desvelando. 
¿verdad? Sino que al contrario, motívese, anímese y eh, piense continuar. Pero yo le invito a que usted eh, invierta unos minutos de su tiempo al día de ser posible. Cinco, diez minutos, pero bien invertidos en ganancia. A que usted solamente ingrese a la reunión acá y vaya tratando de completar con ayuda o sin ayuda eh, el trabajo de la plataforma y ya. No digo que no va a aprender, no digo que no pueda, claro que sí, puede aprender, pero tal vez el proceso va a ser un poco más lento. Usted va a ir aprendiendo de una manera más pausada y la idea es pues que usted... Eh, avance en el idioma, que usted vea el progreso para que usted pueda seguir eh, prácticamente eh, en los módulos. Ok, so um, as I told you, my best advice is do your part. Ok, try to keep your phone in English, try to listen mu to music in English, try to watch the TV, the movies, whatever you see on TV in English, okay? So try to investigate words, try to keep in mind uh, grammar details, grammar part, it's very important for you to um, keep it in mind, okay? So um, the birds, eso usted se los tiene que aprender. En el siguiente módulo creo que se empieza con el presente, perfecto. Volvemos a lo mismo. Entonces, si usted no se puede los verbos, Ahí se va a estancar. Ok. So, please study the burst. Bien. So, my goodness, we have just three minutes. I would like to take a picture of the group. No sé si hubiera alguien que esté en una laptop y pueda tomar uh, screenshots para que tome una captura de pantalla y se vea mejor la, la imagen. Pero no sé si hubiese alguien en, en una computer que pueda compartir y pueda... E enviarlas al grupo de WhatsApp. Ay, teacher. Fredo, bye. Puede yes. ir a tomar captura. En la parte superior de Zoom, ahí tiene una pestaña usted que dice eh, pantalla completa. Vea si activa ahí pantalla completa para yes, que it, salgan todos. It's ready. It's ready in the full screen. Yes. Ok. Yes. One moment, teacher. I need makeup. Dios guarde, no, ya, ya tiene que venir con el make up, ya, ni modo, así es lo que hay, es lo que va a salir ahí, ya no hay más, ya no hay tiempo, ya no hay opción, para dónde, ni modo, ahí ponga su mejor ángulo, porque si no, lo vamos a hacer con un sticker, lo vamos a dibujar, ok, so, <coughs> avísenos, Luis Alfredo, para que no salgamos ahí con la boca abierta, ¿va? avísenos y, 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 y nos la manda ahí el grupo de WhatsApp. Vaya, permítame. Le voy a contar tres. Ok, ok. Uno, espérenme. Uno, dos, tres. Vaya, déjenme ver. Vaya. Tome Yo, otra ahí por cualquier cosa. ¿eh? No vaya a ser que alguien haya salido con, con la boca abierta. Vale, voy a tomar otra. Si no, la elimino es. La mitad. Voy de nuevo. Solo que tengo un mensajito que voy a eliminar ahorita. Uno, dos, tres. De nuevo, porque salieron unos ahí viendo para otro lado. Vaya, vean a la cámara, vean a la cámara. Uno, dos, tres. Vaya, hoy sí. Ok, thank you, Luis. So, send it in the group, ok. Ahí le va a caer, guárdela de recuerdo. Si no la quiere, ahí la borra, ¿verdad? No hay problema, pero eh, the idea is to have the... the The reminder, right? So ahí se va a acordar usted del grupo, va a decir, ay, me acuerdo cuando sufría de, de 8 a 9, que no me podía lo verbo y cómo le hacía, right? So, es bonito, ok, es bonito, yo le animo, le motivo a, 
a seguir adelante, no desanimarse, inscríbase, re, vuelva ahí a eh, el de pelo, sí. Eh, continúe, no se desmotive. Si usted considera que está deficiente, no se ponga triste o lamentable de que, ay, es que me cuesta, sino más bien eh, piense qué puedo hacer yo para subir mi nivel, ¿ok? ¿Cómo yo voy a invertir mi tiempo para eh, progresar en el idioma? ¿Ok? So, mis mejores deseos para ustedes. Espero volverlos a encontrar en un módulo más adelante. Ojalá que, que se pueda. Ya ha pasado que los, los, nos reencontramos. Pero igual, eh, un gusto, la verdad, estar acá compartiendo con ustedes y y espero que pues se lleven lo mejor de este grupo, ¿verdad? Siempre hay cosas que no son perfectas, pero eh, trate de tener en mente lo, lo bueno, ¿verdad? Y lo que, lo que le motivó, lo que usted logró, más lo que estuvo mal, ¿verdad? Eso no, olvídelo, ¿ok? So, time Thanks. is over. Yeah. Necesito validar la asistencia antes que se vayan. Porque Bien, alguien... Gracias, mis My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you, Thank you for me, nice. teacher. En lo que valida, hablemos. <ríe> gracias, sí, teacher. Ahí no mande la una foto. profesora así. Sí, sí me gustó gracias. mucho, muy estimulante. Eh, ok. Me gustó, me gustó, me gustó. Gracias, gracias. Quisiera Solo, más. Ojalá nos encontremos en el siguiente, ojalá. Catherine Andreina, me pareció ver que sí estaba. Sí, aquí Sí, igual Jacqueline Vanessa. Present, Miss. Sí, bien. Eh, Miss, Noé. Noé, ahí está. Noé. Present, Miss. Sí, eh, Norma Lisette. Norma Lisette, sí. Eh, Zaira Idalia también ahí está. Silvia Esther, no, ¿verdad? Silvia Esther no tiene asistencia y José Alejandro nada más. So, um, sí, a usted ya, ya le tomé, ya le tomé ahí lo vi ya, Cecilia. Ok, so time is over, ok, no llore. Se me olvidó decirle <risa> que, que, que iba a haber este, comida, ya no nos doy el tiempo para cenar, pero bueno. Eh, se, se, se aquí lo que se el pan quiera. con crema, teacher. Ay, es como le gusta la pizza y así les iba a mandar un pedazo. Coffee. 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 Aquí se, para I gusto los colores. Your, your Ahí your le mandamos device. al café ya. Ok. So, nice. Time is over. Bye bye. Yeah, Take bye, bye. See you Thank soon. You so much, okay. Teacher. Bye, My bye. pleasure. Bye. Bye. My pleasure. Bye bye. Hopefully, bye. Bye. hopefully, bye. next course, next course. Ahí nos vamos a mirar. Okay, teacher. <laughs> nice. Good night.